I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday November the 10th where the big story is your RTI your real-time index uh, breaks 160 and that's the first time it's ever done that since we've been doing this report in this format and that's a big story on your average of your steers weighing from 700 to 899 pounds up through the middle 12 states uh, just like your CME feeder cattle index only real-time and and always current but your board for Thursday, December live cattle, down 170, saw some stiff losses late in the week after some big gains earlier in the week, mostly due to a little bit lower fat cattle trade. And that was brought on by the basis, which was a result of your board coming down there in the middle of the week. But December live cattle ended the week on Thursday at 122.95. January feeder cattle up 95 cents at 157.85. Your fat cattle trade uh, for the week, through Wednesday, setting at 71,500 head in your five area feeding region. That's a little bit of a disappointing volume. We'd like that to be closer to 100,000 head. We're not expecting any more cleanup trade uh, unless something breaks loose, but we'd like to move a little more cattle than that. But your live steer weighted average is gonna be just a smidge under what it was a week ago at 123.36. But your dress steer weighted average is going to be a little bit higher at 192.32. Uh, Thursday's reports, you had your actual dress steer weights for the week ending October the 28th come out. Uh, bigger by 2 pounds than the previous report. Over 900 pounds now at 901 pounds, which is pretty sizable. Hasn't been that long ago that uh, we're getting discounts on, on weights that big and now that's what the average is. But that 901 is still 16 pounds lighter than the same time a year ago, so uh, we're, we're setting pretty good. Your slaughter, uh, disappointing or late in the week uh, after uh, really jumping out there gangbusters early in the week, but we had some scheduled uh, shutdowns that, that are, are pulling that back a little bit. 464,000 through Thursday, that's 3,000 less than the last week and 2,000 more than the same week a year ago. We've uh, kind of worked through uh, the, this uh, rumors and innuendo about the USDA instrument grading and problems there. I was able to sit on a conference call there on Wednesday and, uh, and they uh, talked in, in detail about it from your USDA officials there. And uh, not sure if they ever had a public announcement, but did send it out to pretty much everybody that was involved. Uh, the USDA did not accept any responsibility, uh, they did not make any excuses, they did not give any reasons for why this happened other than uh, what everybody knew. We got a, a higher technology camera that became available for, and, the, and the packing plants own those cameras. Those are not uh, government uh, cameras there, they are, they're owned by the plants, the uh, USDA meat grading service oversees that and they use those as a tool to help uh, grade those cattle and they and for the most part over the last 15 years or so they've been more consistent uh, than than a human could be and and really helping keep uh, your chain speeds up and and uh, less wear and tear on everybody involved but uh, they did uh, get some new technology they implemented started implementing those and some of your big major high volume plants uh, in June there. And, uh, and when they brought those in, uh, they started having more uh, choice and better carcasses. And it wasn't that they were grading them a whole grade higher. It was really just tenths of a, of a degree of marbling, which if you know anything about uh, meat grading, that there's, there's different uh, degrees of marbling throughout the scale there. And uh, most of us aren't, aren't smart enough to be able to, to eat a steak and tell you whether it was select or choice. Of course, we know what we want and we, we like the consistency and the, and the, the happiness of, the, of your meat, meat eating experience with uh, your higher quality grades. But most of us really couldn't tell you the uh, degree of marbling, especially after it was cooked. But um, it was off just a smidge there, but over time, it started uh, showing uh, more cattle moving higher up into the quality grade. Uh, some people noticed it, 
A lot of people didn't. Evidently, USDA meat grading never paid any attention to it. Uh, I know uh, kind of an old school cattle buyer that was uh, sending cattle in uh, grading yield and, and uh, asked him what he thought about the grading. And he was convinced that Santa Claus was standing on the line grading those cattle because they were grading so good, getting, getting more primes per load than he had ever experienced and a higher percentage of choice. But uh, so that happened from June up until late October uh, after the, they did an audit there, after somebody brought it to their attention, they came in with an audit and then made an adjustment, which uh, came in October the 26th. And that's uh, gonna be pulling the, that uh, choice and, and better back down a little bit. I don't think it's gonna make a big difference uh, probably at the most it's looking like maybe four to six percent maybe uh, less choice and better carcasses than, than what they've been running here since June but uh, I don't think it's going to be a big deal we uh, haven't really heard any backlash coming from any consumer groups or anything like that and like I say it's really hard to uh, to to do that it's kind of like uh, going into your neighborhood bartender and him telling you Oh, I'm sorry about that. All that beer you drank last week was uh, supposed to go to Oklahoma and it was 3-2 beer. But, you know, you're thinking I really didn't have any complaints. I, I enjoyed what I had and that's pretty much what uh, uh, your consumers had. So I doubt there's going to be really any backlash. You're sure not going to get any any problem from your, your cattle customers or your packing plants. And, 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 and the product that they may have sitting in, in freezer storage is already graded and it's going to move through the line. But uh, your USDA meat grading service did say that they were committed to maintaining the uh, consistency and the integrity that the grading system has been built upon uh, for decades and decades and is, is you know, seen around the world as really your gold standard of, of meat quality. And, uh, and I, I assume that it will continue to be. It's not going to be a big deal. But on Thursday, they did implement a couple of more changes. They made another adjustment to one of the most modern cameras that was out there. There's a couple of different kinds of cameras. They made another minor adjustment to that. Not sure how much that's going to affect it. Probably no more than what I said. And then also they did change it where a meat grader can now override the camera's call uh at a at a 20 20 degree uh, difference in grade rather than a 40 which is what took it before so so your your human meat grader that's standing there he can override that camera a lot quicker than than what was uh really protocol before and and they're like they said they're committed into keeping this thing in line so i imagine that's just going to blow on over and not be a big deal anymore but you look at your feeder cattle market, your real-time index, like I said, broke 160. Late on Thursday, it was sitting at 160.27. That was up 56 cents from late on Wednesday. Look at your big markets, which on Thursday is always in Kansas. You got your southern Kansas, Pratt, and you got your northern Kansas, Salina. Pratt had uh, somewhere between three and 4,000 head there. We called their feeder steers $4 higher. Uh, did see they had 937 head of eight weight steers averaging 863 pounds at 160 160 and that was up nearly four dollars from the weighted average from the previous week farmers and ranchers livestock in Salina Kansas about 4,000 head there uh, if you look at your automated uh, market report there on cattle market central you see that uh, your feeder steer popular weights were running from three to seven dollars higher your calf trend was more moderate than that. But your popular weights of feeder steers, 611 head of six weight steers, averaged 649 pounds at 165.91. That was up nearly $6 uh, over last week's weighted average. And 695 head of seven weight steers, averaging 7.59 at 164.60. That was up a pinch over $7 than the weighted average the previous week. Some individual quotes out of the same sales. Pratt, Kansas, uh, just after 11 o'clock on Thursday, had 56 head of steers, weighed 907 at 163. Uh, we don't see that a lot. Big nine weight steers bringing up into the 60s. And then uh, not to be uh, outdone, 
Salina uh, just after four o'clock in the afternoon at 83 head of 891 pound steers, so almost 900 pounds at 168. That's your feeder flash for Friday.